start. I'm sorry for the delay. Oh wow, my stomach. Oh wow, I got a. I feel poopy. Wait, hold on. That was a good fart. Nope, it was just a fart. Uh. <sighs> All right, finally, I suppose. Uh, hello there, everyone. Welcome back to Identitatem Discrimin. Season 4 lies within. I would like to begin this session by giving my most sincerest of apologies to my one and only existing player right now, and that is my mom. Uh, I had uh, openly offended and ignored the... I, why do I keep forgetting it whenever I want to mention it? Seth Skorkowski made a video about it, whatever. <laughs> So, uh, in response, yeah, we're gonna have to do some changes. Uh, like, first and foremost, I need to make my games easier, I suppose. <laughs> uh, since, uh, last I session... <laughs> since last session didn't go so well, I think it's for the best we just, uh, do a reset and start the fight over from the beginning. Uh, if you think that's if you're fine with that, okay. Yep, I knew I knew you would forget. So now you also forgot his weakness. Yeah, I got a lot of work cut out for me. Uh, you have even more memory problems than people claim Araki has, the creator of JoJo. <laughs> uh, anyways. Starting off, I am handing out these. You will give me? Yes, these three chips uh, will represent uh, uh, something, uh, I, a new mechanic I offer uh, in order to make this baby easy mode even more baby or easier <laughs> mode. <laughs> they are called the mindful tokens. So, I have, they're on my notes, people can read them. Uh, three tokens are given at the start of every session. A token can be spent by the player to ask the GM a solution to a problem they have ran into and can't find a solution to. Based on the amount of tokens left at the end of a session, a bonus or a penalty is incurred. If you are somehow smart enough to not use any tokens, you are awarded a legend point. If you remember what they do, they you can use them whenever you make a roll and you get advantage and stuff for free. Okay. Uh, if you spend and one... Every roll ko, may advantage or just a one roll? It's, it's a one-time use thing. Mm -hmm. uh, since you don't roleplay your flaws, which is the main way you're supposed to get legend points, uh, at least now you have a different way of getting them, I suppose. You... Uh, at one... T if you spend one token, though, don't worry, there is no penalties. There are no rewards either, so... Uh, if you don't feel like getting a legend point and you're really stuck, one token is fine. Uh, at two tokens, though, we get a penalty. And I give you... Or rather, I get an anti-point. Uh, basically, what an anti-point is, is that it's something I can use at any time on you to put you in a really bad situation or just make it so that if you succeed on a roll, I can just use an anti-point and say you fail. So ain't that wacky. Uh, and if you use up all three tokens of yours, I still get the one anti-point. And if you have a legend point, uh, you lose it. And I get another anti-point in exchange as well, mm -hmm. so I could potentially get two. So, uh, yeah, be mindful of how you use the mindful tokens, I suppose. Alright, so with those mechanics out of the way, uh, let's start this fight all over. Are you already in this map? 
Yes. Uh, I'm gonna do this anyway. Alright, I'm just gonna delete. Alright, uh, so have, I, have I fixed IS thingy already? Uh, yes, I have. Alright, here is Mirai and Aya. Feel free to read up on their abilities again if you've forgotten. Ready. <laughs> and here are Le Enemies. Is it really that hard to use a trackpad? I've been using a trackpad for a majority of my life, and whenever I see other people use it, they're always complaining about how hard it is, Alleluia. and how a trackpad, you know, that thing that you're using. Uh -huh. And yeah, I, I look at how they use them, I look at ma how you're using them, and I just cringe at how wrongly you're using it. Like, gross. Why? <laughs> Why? Why do people suck so much with a trackpad? It's not that bad. I mean, you can't play Osu with it or Minecraft or whatever, but it works if you just want to do simple office shit. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. I do. I do use a mouse nowadays, but like uh, back then, uh, I dealt with a trackpad, and the trackpad was just fine, man. I mean, it sucks not to have a scroll wheel. That definitely really sucks. But like. It works fine. <laughs> anyway, that's that's enough of me. Alright, so, quick recap uh, as to how Mirai and I are fighting Leone Abaki. I mean, Le uh, Leone Herculeo. Uh, I mean, that's, that's totally not just Leone from Jojo Part 5. <laughs> uh, Mirai and Aya were able to steal some documents that they wanted. Uh, they managed to get away. Uh, so, uh, instead of just uh, immediately going back home to the home base, they decide to lay low for a little while to make sure no one's tailing them. Uh, so they go to Boracay, not Boracay, where, where, uh, Manila Bay, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, and then it turns out they were indeed being tailed, as Aya, being the idiot pervert that she is, uh, gets tangled up in a bunch of dudes. And said dudes turned out to be the enemy. Uh, so now uh, the enemies are threatening to burn down the entire beach of people. Anong power ni Aya? Wind God Girl. Unless uh, they hand over uh, the documents. Uh, Mirai and Aya, obviously unwilling to uh, challenge uh, them to uh, fight instead. So, uh, now you guys are having a fight in the beach. So, uh, yeah. And now we're fighting. Right back to the beginning. I guess last time we did this fight, uh, things didn't go quite well. Uh, I basically just copied the stats of Leone from when I last uh, used it uh, when I when I used it to fight Journal because Journal's smart Anong unless I throw ni... everything against him. <laughs> power ni Leone? And yeah, he, he still beat him super easily <laughs> when he when he was the one fighting. Mm -hmm. uh, Leone called his id ability uh, Leo. Uh, and uh, alongside him, there are some police members uh, belonging to. They were gonna do a deal of some kind, mm -hmm. but. Uh, yeah, they don't need every police. But they were cancelled because Mirai and Aya like cancel mm -hmm. culture. Mm -hmm. uh, they are Page of Wand and Knight of Wand, respectively. Uh, they both basically have the ability to control fire. Uh, so all three of them just have the ability to control fire, I suppose. Uh, then let's do this, Leone said. Hey, uh, does this, whatever the heck you call this, and he activates his id. A, fi uh, a duel to the death for some gut shitty ass papers. Oh, this damn job. With that 
uh, he transforms his id is known as Leo and it is a worn type id uh, in other words he wears it it takes the form of this uh, super cool super strong super heavy uh, armor uh, in gold it looks like one of those Roman Roman armors you would see it even has a cool cape and his helmet is uh, fashioned to look like that of a lion yeah he's got sharp claws and like holes in the palms uh, that's how he that's how he's able to uh, shoot no out light. fire uh, but he also has claws and yeah uh, the armor the id is literally so heavy the moment he activates it uh, his entire foot sinks his entire body sinks further down into the ground or er, the sand uh, just because of how heavy it is which uh, by the way is it, it's that's a hint because I'll, I'll be giving out obvious hints now to how I want you to beat this rather than just expecting you to come up with solutions so anyway let's do this you don't have to feel pressured to make your actions as quickly as you can because uh, yeah no rush Mirai and Aya get to go first. The enemies all go last. They're all very slow. Since Mirai and powers is the... The sword? Yeah. The sword? Yes. Because she doesn't have any shooting star, right? Yeah. Shooting star is what she uses the most, but... Uh, although she doesn't like using uh, reverse star or Mirai Dorobo, uh, as you can see in her item list, uh, you are allowed to use Mirai Dorobo uh, somewhat to cast the Nullify Bane, which is simply just used to remove buffs on enemies if they have any. Si Aya naman, wind. Yes. So, uh, shooting Aya. Star is also just wind. Uh, Mirai speaks up uh, before getting into the fight. Uh, three against two is quite a bit unfair, wouldn't you think? There's more of them and less of us. How about we start uh, uh, by whittling down their numbers a bit and even out the odds a bit. Uh, Leone looks pretty tough. But his two companions aren't as well armored. Wouldn't you agree? Wouldn't you believe so? Yeah, that is uh, that's a great idea, right? We have to finish first the page and the knight of wand before we handle the yoga. What's happening? You guys whispering amongst yourself, thinking of a plan. Go ahead, keep thinking. I am fucking invincible! There's no way a bunch of women such as yourselves could possibly hope to defeat me. Yeah, that's the thing, Leone. You are fighting uh, two girls. What an ego you have there. <laughs> yep, you're quite sexist, Mirai said. I might say I must say that is very based. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, keep talking. Women are all talk nowadays anyway. Uh, women only serve one purpose in this universe, and that's and that's to get fricked by us men, who are clearly just the stronger and better gender. Let's do this, but one thing is for sure, you will not get the documents that you want. We'll make you eat those words. This is, so, this is the most intense music for thinking ever. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. And wait. then I have you. Will ask me right. So, since their power is fire, do you think the water besides us is the best solution for this? I mean, we could dirt certainly disable uh, the page guy and the night guy. Uh, if we give them water, 
uh, but that Leone guy, uh, he'll still be able to use his claws to attack us. So we might be able to disable the two people, but uh, Leone is still the biggest threat. The other two are supporting backup. I still suggest it's best we get rid of them first. Yeah, the two guy. Okay then. Can I use this? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but that's 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 how it usually is. They're weaker, which is why they use their smarts, and that's why they're so satisfying to watch. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, don't forget, uh, Aya. Uh, with her wind god girl has the ability to fly she doesn't have to uh, keep grounded if she wants and uh, she has plenty of ways uh, to attack from long distances despite being a short ranged in ability but haste is also a good idea i would say she will fly and get one of the wand, the guy wand, and throw it to the water. Yeah, that can work. So, uh, are you still gonna go for boo, uh, for haste? Aya has boon focus on it, which means as long as she's only targeting one person, yeah, one uh, person she can only. automatically succeed in doing it. Yeah. Will she? All right. Who will she cast haste on to? The knight of wand. Uh, you want to give a buff to an enemy and make the enemy stronger. No, it's not a good Haste is a boon. You apply it to an ally. I'm asking you who, no. do you, who should get the haste. You're applying haste first, right? And then we can do the thing. I see. <laughs> so his pala is yeah, yeah, yeah. power. Yes, yeah. it's a power up that you apply. Oh, yeah, yeah, game mechanics. Hmm? Uh, Aya will apply haste on Mirai? Yeah. Alright then, that works. Solid move. So what's going on Mirai? Haste at power level 6. Automatic success. The target speed is increased by 8 meters and it gains plus 2 to guard. Additionally, the target can make one extra major action on each of its turns. This action cannot be used to perform an interrupt action. If the action requires a roll, it suffers disadvantage 3. So, uh, two major actions. In other words, you can do two attacks in one turn. Mirai. Yes, Mirai. Not to mention, she has increased speed and defense now. With her increased speed, rather than just being able to move one space on a move action, she can move two spaces. Uh, and her to quickly close the distance or do the opposite uh, relatively easily. So, uh, that was Aya's major action. She still has her move action. So my move action is I will fly high with and, Gucci. And we'll get the knight of one and throw, throw it to the... Deepest ocean. Right, well, unfortunately, you already used uh, your major action to do haste, so you're gonna have to wait for that. Uh, for now, Aya shall simply use her uh, movement action, since that's the only thing she can do now to fly high. So uh, she's high up now. Uh, okay. No other movements. Yes, that's everything Aya can do. Okay. Now all okay, that's Mirai. left is Mirai. What will Mirai do? Mirai will close into the Knight of One and use her sword. Alright. She's gonna go approach within melee distance and then attack one of the guys. Yeah. Alright, who are we targeting? Knight of One. Alright. Good, good. You're just gonna go for a nice little attack, eh? Oh, uh... 
Let's see here. That shall be a movement roll. Let's see here. Uh, with deadly, uh, Mirai has advantage one. Something like that. 2d8. Yes. The knight of one guy. His guard. Plus one, plus one. Hmm? Yes, plus one extra die. Yikes. One, one, five, two. Oh my gosh. Two plus five plus one. One. An eight. That is a uh, definitely a miss. So, uh, would you like to deal one point of damage, inflict uh, a minor bane, or move? The enemy gets to do the same. Because even if you fail, you can still do shit. Alright. You shall inflict the damage. Yeah. Uh, I will... Make Mirai move. So now she's no longer in melee. Very sad. However, uh, Shooting Star does not need to be in melee in order to work. You can still attack. Remember, you have haste, you still have one major action left. Would you like to go for another attack? Yeah. Alright, same target? Yeah. Alright, this time though you have disadvantage too. So one eight left. Hmm? Or gonna call it three. No, it's disadvantage. So, so you're... Eight, your movement is 6, so that's 2d8. With disadvantage, that is an extra 2d8 for a total of 4d8. And you gotta roll, all, uh, you gotta keep only the two lowest of the d8s that you rolled. So, uh, you had bad luck this time. Now, the dice. yeah, the dice is even more rigged against you. <laughs> oh, that explode. That that explode. Uh, it's disadvantage though, you, keep, you gotta seven, use seven. the lowest. And eight. Er, that's a one, seven, plus eight, I plus one. Own. That is a sixteen. Unfortunately, that is yet another miss. Sayang, look explode though. It do be like that with disadvantage. Uh, so, uh, one damage again. On Aya or on the uh, Night Yeah, because you failed but you can still deal one damage, a Bane, or make a move. Sa so, so Night nya. Yes. Yeah, damage. Alright, they go. There's uh, damage, I'll go for damage as well. Alright, uh, Aya uh, blesses Mirai with a bit of her wind of powers and flies high up into the air uh, well Mirai with the feeling the power of wind on her back uh, rushes forward to do melee combat with the knight but uh, the knight guy is a skilled martial artist it seems a sword clash with stick uh, and Mirai finds herself uh, a bit matched and she's forced to back away a bit uh, while the knight guy holds his ground uh, but where both sides uh, were able to deal some good hits on each other. But in the end, it's an even neutral battle right now. Alright. Uh, it is the enemy's turn now. The Page of Wand guy shall go first. Uh, since you guys are far away from each other now, he's uh, quite much less effective. He shall move away from the fight. And using energy, he is going to make an attack targeting Mirai. He points his magical wand at Mirai and with, a, with some can chanting fire bursts out from the wand and heads towards Mirai. Targeting guard. Why? 15 plus 4 wow. plus 3. That is a 22. Oh! 
Thank fuck. Your guard is 23. Thanks to haste, though, it is actually 25, so that is a miss. And unlike uh, enemies, you, they don't get any of the one damage bane or whatever option. It's just a straight up miss. Alright, the page tries to fire a blast, uh, but Mirai uh, manages to bl uh, dodge the bolt just in time. Uh, the page guy was trying to aim at her feet, uh, uh, but it fails. She raises her feet up and uh, fire hits the sand and uh, glistens. <laughs> Uh, and sparkles upon hitting the sand. Mirai uh, uh, notices uh, the sand. Whoa, that's a really hot fire. Uh, the fire was hot enough it was able to uh, transform the sand into glass, which is what happens when sand is, uh, is heated at a high enough temperature. They turn into glass. Alright, there's still the night guy. Uh, he is going to approach Mirai uh, and continue the melee fight happening that was happening. All right. Ooh. Oh, there's an explosion. This might still be bad. No, it isn't. That's a miss. I don't even need to calculate that pathetic dice. Alright, the melee continues. Uh, the night guy continues assaulting Mirai with uh, uh, stick attack after stick attack with martial art uh, moves and Mirai blocks with her European swords. Uh, you're not half bad for a woman. Your, your inability must be letting you, you uh, use your sword better, isn't it? How pathetic. Uh, me, though, I learned how to use this stick uh, through my own hard work. Uh, two years of training and uh, over 20,000 pesos spent uh, at the dojo for that master guy. Yeah, it was all worth it. <laughs> Meanwhile, though, uh, I see you guys got the, that Mirai girl. I'll take on this Aya girl that's up high in the sky. Leonis says. Uh, using his major action, he shall inflict a, a boon on himself. The flight boon. Yes. Alright, let's see here. Energy. Uh, yes, yes, you are getting it. Yeah, it can be a bit confusing in the beginning. But we're on a lot of sessions already, but I still don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. But it's fine. Everyone learns at their own pace. I always say that. Alright, moon access flight. It doesn't tell me what power. I'm just gonna assume it's six. Alright, so now he's flying, and now using his move action, he shall move. Yeah, thanks, I was actually getting a bit hot now myself. So uh, now he's high up in the air as well. Uh, like I. Uh, and uh, that's the end of this round. It is the next round now. Yeah, I'm gonna take a shower anyway, so I'd like to be as hot as possible by the time that happens, so I really don't want any aircon. Let's have a dog fight, miss, or is it a cat fight since you're a girl? <laughs> it's next round now, what do de do do? Aya first. What is Aya's range anyway? Movement 6 and no other hindrances? I believe that's 20 meters. Yeah, 20 meters. What do they do? do? Uh, I am already in a good enough distance to attack Leone. Whoa, you want you want to try and hit me? 
Come on then, give me all you got. Your pathetic wind powers can't do nothing against my uh, hard ass armor. I'm telling, I'm warning you right now, don't even try. It's useless. I have no weaknesses. Yes, you have one, and I figured it out now. It's, it's not because you have your power is far, you will end with the water, no, but I figured it out, it's because you will end with the sand. In other words, what are you doing? <laughs> I will try na Wendo, magumukay para mabaon yung dalawa. Huh? Oh, you're not gonna hit Leon. You're targeting the page and night guys instead on the on the ground. Hindi si Leon. Si Leon. He's in the air right now. Kaya nga. Dalapitan ko siya para ano ko siya. Battle. Uh. You're gonna move closer and then do a damaging attack? Or the, no, Yep, you are quite bad at explaining yourself. <laughs> no, ang wind ko ang mag ano kay Leone para ma capture siya and then put him down to the side. Ah, I see, I see. All right, I shall. Cover up the siya ng sand. I shall rule that as you trying to inflict uh, the knockdown bane then uh, since you since you realize that Leona's armor is very heavy it'll be very easy to knock him down yeah all right all right that works all right movement that is targeting uh, guard Pag nawala na yung armor niya, mamili na rin siya. Alright. Uh, roll for movement. You can't do a focus action since you're, you're, trying, you're focusing on keeping haste on Mirai. Okay, again. Why? Are you so terrible at doing this? <laughs> Twenty. Oi, sixteen. Sixteen plus five and three. Five plus three. That's a twenty-four. That is a success. All right, you did it. Oh yeah, I'd like I'd like to wager how invincible uh, your armor truly is, because uh, by the looks of it, uh, you you call so I guess you could call this fight uh, that that kind of fight, you know, the spear and the shield fable. How did it go again? Ah yes, uh, the immovable force versus the unstoppable object. So you claim yourself to be an immovable object, huh? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I'm an immovable object, and no other unstoppable force uh, could ever hope uh, to try to make me move. Just try it. And Anaya's like, okay. Uh, she takes out her fan, uh, swings it down, a uh, wind, uh, strong wind blast from above Leona, and he's like, huh? What? Uh, and the wind knocks him off his uh, thing. Uh, the flames that he's using to fly uh, suddenly disperse out and uh, he's sent uh, careening down. Since he's 10 meters up high, he will take fall damage. Because gravity is a bitch. He takes one point of damage from the fall damage. And uh, wow, would you look at that? Uh, he's within range of Mirai now. There we go, an opening, Aya said. Uh, Mirai and uh, uh, I just noticed something, I think. Uh, Aya, uh, roll for perception. Aya? Yes. 
Ah, you bastard! Oof! Sinks down into the sand with his heavy ass body. Eight plus five plus six, that's a 19. That is good enough for me. All right, as I uh, sense Leon uh, crashing down back uh, into the sand, uh, she notices uh, something very important and tells it to Mirai immediately. Mirai, uh, go for his back. His back isn't covered in any armor at all. The cape is hiding it, uh, but it's fully exposed and doesn't have any armor at all. So, Mirai, uh, Mirai looks at uh, Leona. He's he's facing down like this now. His cape uh, flutters finally back down to hide his exposed back once again, and he's like, "Don't you fucking dare!" But Mirai's sword will finish him. Alright, uh, Aya still has a move action left. Uh, would she like to move anywhere? She can go higher, maybe descend back to the ground, approach, yeah. go away. Back to the ground. Uh, sure then. Back to the Ay, ground. No, no, no. Apply pa siya, no. Kapunta na siya sa tapak nila, Leone. Approach. Yeah. Alright. A wise decision. Right, and uh, Mirai will now try attacking Leon. Yeah, will attack Leon with her sword. Alright then. So, uh. That is deadly. Uh, and since he is knocked down, I'm pretty sure that means you get advantage uh, to attack him. No advantage, but his guard is reduced by two points. Alright. So, uh, roll for the attack with advantage one. What about? Huh? A movement. Update again. Can you want to go Two and seven. Eighteen! Alright! Oh. Plus 7 plus 18, that is a 27. Alright. Yeah. 15 total. Alright. Uh, would you like to try inflicting a uh, Bane or go for all damage? Bane Yeah. Bane Mirai? Yeah. Uh, the PDFs and then Bane, three Bane, I believe it's called. With a brisk attack, the reptile tail ripped from its back. You will not forget the red sun over. Uh, you can use the bookmarks. If you go full damage, he will take uh, 4 damage, uh, but if you inflict the Bane, you'll only deal 3 damage, but you also get the Bane anyway, so... Uh, uh, you consider trying to disarm uh, Leone, but you, can, uh, but you think to consider uh, how his id looks like it's armor and it's worn it seems like it's stuck to him might not be a good idea 
will you still do this? <laughs> full damage? Uh -oh. Alright! You deal full damage. Uh, wasting no time and without hesitation, Mirai flips her so uh, flips her sword uh, downwards and stabs at Leona's back. Uh, I have no respect for men like you, so I won't feel bad doing this at all. Wait, don't you dare with that damn sword! And boo! Ah! Uh, just barely missing his spine, it goes uh, it cuts deep into him and blood gushes out. Uh, from Benny, from underneath his cave, uh, the two uh, guys are like, "Oh shit, boss! Oh, the pain, it hurts, but don't think you've won yet. I'm still alive and standing." Damn, you're tough. Uh, she, uh, Mirai, uh, uh, pulls the sword back up. She still has haste. She can still go for one more attack. Okay. One more attack for me, right? You bastards, do your job and protect me! Leon says at his subordinates. Not so subordinates. You want to lang ang iya ano niya, right? Hmm? Ang iya ta, hindi lang ang subordinates. Or pwede pa rin kayo dito. Yes, there is nothing stopping you from just attacking Leona again. Okay, I will finish the He looks incredibly badly damaged. I mean, he's got a fucking... He got fucking donated. <laughs> yeah, I will finish Leona. Okay, I will finish the... Alright! Uh, then, uh, that's with disadvantage. Uh, roll! For movement with disadvantage too. Only four. Yes, you gotta keep the lowest of the D8s. Okay. Uh, this will be your end, Leone, and I will promise you that you will not forget me, Mirai Durable. <laughs> wow. Four and one. Yikes. Thirteen. A thirteen? Alright, that's an eighteen. Uh, Leone shall interrupt with a defend action. Alright. Uh, he must roll an 18 or higher to successfully block your attack in its entirety. Ooh, there's only a 3 here. Ah, oh, but there's an explosion. And an 8. Ah, oh, no, no. 8 na yun eh. Yep. Oof. Alright, a 3 plus 10 plus 8 plus 9, that's a 30. Okay, does he have the ability to counterattack now? Okay, cool. Uh, he's like, not so fast, you bastard! Uh, immediately, uh, he pushes down onto the ground, turns around, and blocks uh, with his claw. Uh, and then there's the sword uh, clash like this. And he was barely able to uh, avoid uh, getting his chest pierced. <laughs> you bastard! Uh, don't think the same strategy will apply twice will work twice on me. I may not look it, but I'm quite clever myself, you know. So you were able to find one of my weakness. That doesn't matter. I'll just make sure you won't be able to do it again. And uh there you go. Alright, uh Mirai can still move, but uh there's not really anywhere she can move. Since if she moves she'll get an opportunity attack. So, uh, shall we just let the enemies take their turn now? Yeah, All right. Uh, spending half his movement, Leona stands back up. All right. Uh, so it seems you're uh, the bigger threat here. 
Ooh, so I'll take you on. Alright, he brandishes his claws uh, once more and uh... <laughs> Wait, no shit, he used the defend action. Okay then, so uh, Leone stands back up. Yes, don't forget that. He stands back up and uh, that's that's actually it. Because he can't attack, he, he defended. Alright, so now it's the knight and the page guy's turns. Alright, knight guy. Uh, the two of them will continue trying to barrage uh, at Mirai with attacks. That is a 10 plus 6 plus 5. Uh, 12. Yikes. And another 5. Wow. So that is a 26. Uh, unfortunately, that does hit. Mirai takes a measly one point of damage. Uh, that could have been a focus action since he wasn't gonna move. Oh well. My stupidity is your advantage. Alright, the page guy will continue walking back and uh, attacks at Mirai still. Why? 7 plus 6 plus 4. Plus 4 at 21, that's a miss. Alright, a, a few fireballs graze Mirai, but uh, she's otherwise fine. Uh, Leon simply brandishes his claws and looks uh, menacing. Alright, next round now. The same strategy won't work twice on him, he said. What's you, how are you gonna expose his weaknesses now and damage him further? You certainly can. Take your time. We're not in any rush. Knockdown won't work on him anymore, remember that. Uh, he didn't decide to fly, he's staying grounded, and he's got a good pose now that makes sure he won't get knocked down again. Hint, hint. Paying attention to your environment might help you. If you want a description, remember, you're in a beach, it's a nice open area, the sea is quite far away, but below you, uh, your ground, it is sand. Nice, soft sand. Ah, uh, no, nah, there's more than one ways to use sand. Uh, you won't get a penalty if you use a thinking point right now. <laughs> but you won't get the legend point reward. Yeah, okay then. I'll use it now. I'll <laughs> Think carefully. Uh, if anyone was actually watching this, oh wow, they'd be so bored to death at how long it takes for you to take your turns. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of me whenever I'm playing a, a strategy game. Uh, only the, the games I play are way harder. <laughs> like Advance Wars. So... I will put a lot of 
Uh, you're gonna spray sand all over him. Yeah. I mean, sure. Possible. Ah, interesting. All right. Uh. Just a roll for. Uh, just roll for Mirai's agility for me. Today? Yes. Oi, 10, 7, and 5. 23. A 23. Alright, how nice of you to do the, uh, the, the calculations for me. Alright, so the same strategy won't work for uh, you twice, huh? Yeah, that's right. So, huh, what? If you're gonna try and trip me, I tell you, lady, it won't work. You gotta think smart. Yeah? Well, I got a plan right here. Mirai uh, brandishes her sword. She sticks it to the sand as if it were sh a shovel. And then she swipes it, targeting at Leone. Uh, Leone is surprised. What? Sand? Oh. Uh, well, and then, the sand uh, gonna do with me? The sand sprays towards him, some of it getting into his uh, face, which is exposed. And, uh, just like his back, actually, his face is exposed. There's no armor protecting it. Sand gets all over his eyes, and he is inflicted the blind, the bane. Ah, shit! Eyes! You dick! Uh, he is now blinded. And uh, while he's busy uh, being blinded and stuff, an upper, this is your opportunity. He's trying his best to uh, get rid of his blindness right now. He won't know wh uh, where y you're hitting him from and stuff. So, what is that? He's hit the full damage. Yes, it's offensive time now. Uh, Mirai still has haste on her, she can do an attack, but uh, it'll have disadvantage. Aya, however, she still hasn't taken any moves. Hmm. Yes, she can indeed still. Uh, Leo, she's gonna attack Leona? Yeah, attack. With all her might. Alright then. Uh, move, that is movement. Deadly disadvantage to... Oh wait, hold on. Alright, go ahead. Go wide with disadvantage. 4d8, you gotta keep the lowest. All the scenery, this is nature's sacrifice Where the goes blue with a brisk attack The red one tail from its back When the sun sets, we will all get the red sun over paradise Yes! A 22! It hits! Alright, uh, while Leon is busy uh, being blinded, uh, Mirai quickly uh, this is your DM, zooms uh, to behind Leon, and with a simple, with a few simple words, she simply utters this as she uh, for her victory. She points at Leon, not that he could see it, and she says, "Omae wa moshinderu." The uh, Japanese subtitles show that what she said was, You are already dead. And Leone says, Nani? Uh, Japanese translation, Nani means what? And poke uh, right in her, his back once again. And he goes, Oh! Blood uh, gushes uh, from him once again. Oh! Yep. 
Oh no, my back again, but no, this pain, this pain is different. Oh god, that was quite the lethal blow this time around. Oh, blood is losing. Oh, uh, Mirai, this bastard, she actually managed to swing her sword precisely in between my spine's vertebrates and stuff. Uh, it what? It cut my. She cut my spine and my brain. Oh, I can't think properly anymore because my brain cords have been damaged. I can't move my muscles anymore. Oh, uh, and with that, uh, Mirai uh, un uh, takes out the sword and finally uh, Leon's uh, freaking armor finally le uh, disappears. He's no longer a in any right mind to keep it activated anymore. And with that, uh, Mirai goes once more for another stab. This time, it actually pierces through his body rather than stopping the moment it hits his armor. And more blood gushes out. Uh -huh. And, uh... K.O. Leona falls down to the ground. What's happening? So Leone falls down uh, into the ground and more and more blood uh, seeps uh, from his body and uh, the pure white sand is tainted with his uh, blood as he lays unconscious. Uh, the two police uh, guys are there to look at uh, the guy and stuff. Uh, meanwhile the beachgoers, well they've been in a bit of a tizzy for a while now. Uh, uh, but uh, yeah, uh, they look at Mirai and Aya, uh, uh, they're suddenly blinded by a flash, it was Aya, she was taking a picture, ooh, this is quite the scoop, you know. <laughs> so, uh, which one of you two bastards is next after this guy? Uh, the two police officers look at themselves. Uh, and then they raised their hands. Okay, we surrender. We didn't want taking that you deal anyway. And the knife. Yeah, yeah. In fact, uh, we're we're super glad because uh, yeah, this was this was our plan all along. Yeah. After all, we are we are officers. We are officers of the law. And this guy, yeah, he was a member of the Contramina gang. Uh, uh, good job avoiding his vitals. It seems he'll still live. He'll be in the hospital for possibly the rest of his life, but uh, he'll also be in prison because uh, yeah, good job. Thanks for doing our work, valiant citizens. We're gonna be reporting this now and uh, yeah. So uh, please don't hurt us too. And that now that's what I like to hear. And uh, how about those uh documents? Huh? Document? I have no idea what you guys are talking about. We're just here to shut up. Uh, we're just here to freaking. Uh, we're just here to. Uh, uh, we were here on a mission, and you guys uh, help. So. Si Aya, sabi ni Aya. Okay, officers. We trust you, so Leone will giving them to you and do your job very well. Yes, uh, we'll do them very well. Uh, the two of them heave Leone. Oh, he's still pretty heavy even without the armor. Yeah, uh, look, look, the police guys. Uh, they finally arrived. We're gonna tell them all about it. So, uh, yeah, you guys can go now. And with that, uh, Mirai and I uh, smirk at each other and then, uh, as usual, the two of them... we did it! The two of them fly off. Uh, uh, as the police guys try their best uh, to, to explain the their situation, situation. Uh, and uh, yeah, talk about Leon and stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, those two are definitely getting 
fired. What, wouldn't you agree, Mirai? Oh, shut up. That that disaster could have all been avoided if you uh, didn't try being such a freaking pervert. Hey, I wanted to enjoy the beach, okay? And we still won in the end. So all's well that ends well, right? Spilled milk and all that, you know? <sighs> Fine. Let's just hurry back to base. The Everyone else should be home by now as well. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we did it. Yay. That is everyone's mission accomplished. Accomplished. Pero ano ba yung gusto mo ipagawa kay Mami? Gusto mo malaman? Sure, why not? The battle's already over. Uh, Journal never did this as well. I'm so sad. How come no one ever tries doing this? Oh, no. uh, so, uh, when sand is, su uh, is heated at a high enough temperature, it transforms into glass. Uh, that is how glass is formed. Uh, basically, what I wanted you to do was like, you uh, make Leon bait him into burning the sand and turn it into glass. And then later you'd push him uh, so that his back would get, you know, skewered yes. uh, by the glass that he made. Uh, yeah, you, you did good as well, but dang it, even Journal didn't do that. <laughs> he just kind of brute forced it in one somehow anyway, because that's just how he is. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, Mirai and I are oh, flying. Nice. And then they, uh, and then uh, the others notice and they wave. Uh, uh, Billy is the first to notice. Hey, it's Mira and Daya. Look, guys, Mira and Daya made it back as well, safe and sound. Uh, everyone's waving and stuff. And Tokyo asked Mira and Daya, so how's your mission? Goes? So uh, everyone uh, goes back to the HQ now. They uh, show off everything. Uh, they got as well as the troubles they faced uh, and do the reporting thing uh, so so Fidel was quite worthless wasn't she uh, Mirai said hey, I helped I swear uh, good news okay I wasn't worthless uh, because while you guys were doing all that I finally did it I finished uh, rebuilding Chocological uh, now we can uh, move around and use that as a base rather than stay in this uh, smelly hellhole any longer. Uh, really, Dead Masses? That's great news! Uh, so I guess you did help an uh, in the end after all. <laughs> Why does everyone think I'm worthless? You are uh, not into Battlefield, but you're more... In this group. Yeah, so I is taking notes. Hmm, so we bu all of us had a run in with either the police or the Contrabita gang. Yeah, safe to say they really are all over the place and navigating around them is quite dangerous and deadly. But uh, despite all that, you guys were able to uh, succeed on your mission in spite of that. Tokyo, Amy, good job defending the base. Uh, Billy and Panacea. Uh, you even managed to snag us some clothes at the correct size for everyone. And Sung and Detma, uh, those are some nice fresh fruits. I'm not even gonna bother asking uh, how and where you guys got that. Uh, with this, uh, we should be all set to at least survive uh, laying low uh, for another, uh, for until next season. Uh, there's three whole months. Uh, but that leaves us, Mirai. What do we have to report exactly? Uh, Mirai, I've been holding off on this, but I think it's finally time for me to tell you uh, what I've got brewing. My plan. And, uh, to put it simply, we're launching a counterattack. It's time for the Angel Seekers to prove that they are not evil. Okay, Billy said. And, uh, how do you plan on doing that? Uh, she asks for Aya to take out this stuff. And she shows them, take a look at these documents. Uh, we were able to snag them during our scouting. It wasn't easy, let me tell you. Huh, these are 
uh, legal permits for getting uh, for being able to use an airplane as well as ride a boat huh uh, what are we going to so do with this uh, we're not exiting the country we're going to prove to the masses uh, that the president is a fraud and we're going to do that uh, by attacking contrabida directly i've been i've been on the hunt for them for near uh, for many years now and i've been doing lots of research i know all mirai i know the locations of their of the most important locations if we attack these locations uh, not only will be able to cripple contrabida again greatly uh, the whole world will no doubtedly uh, know about our actions and how and what we're doing against the contrabida uh, the masses will know uh, that the angel seekers are indeed still the good guys and that the president is a big fat liar once we do that we'll be able to beat the contrabida gang by you know beating them up we'll also be able to expose uh, the president and therefore also beat him so Tokyo said um, okay we ride that's a very good suggestion we have there we, I think this is really the time to expose the bad deeds of the president that he is a fraud and he is a criminal indeed with that in mind uh, let, uh, let, uh, let me show you our plan uh, she opens up a map of the philippines uh, the, uh, the contrabida gang ha has branches uh, all around the philippines and they're even starting to branch out uh, to China and, and soon enough it won't be it'll only be uh, a matter of time before they have branches all over the world uh, but luckily uh, they still they're still only in the Philippines and the China branch is still a little weak uh, thanks to that China branch uh, the president is having a hard time right now actually uh, with diplomacies uh, re uh, with China and stuff and a war might let loose soon enough between the Philippines and the China and China that won't be good when that happens so uh, we need to act quick uh, the three major locations are here here and here Mirai points uh, and uh, Billy yeah there's what a major branch in every in one of the three places in one of the three major places of the Philippines and one in Luzon one in Mindanao and one in Visaya yes so uh, here's the plan unfortunately uh, in order if we we need to split up three teams uh, okay. each going in one location yes it's for the best that if we split up because if we fail uh, all of us get captured and if all of us get captured that won't be good so even if one of us fails at least there at least will still be two more teams remaining uh, that haven't been captured or defeated yet so that'll be for the best all right so we with that in mind the group ourselves billy panacea tokyo uh you guys uh, will stay here in manila in and take care of the branch in luzon yes uh you guys will be in charge of dealing uh, with the with, with contrabida's transportation squad uh, rumor has it they've been illegally uh, smuggling and transporting uh, shit across China so you guys will be trying to deal with that uh, yeah. you guys should be main, able to the main headquarters are located here in Luzon. you guys should be able to hijack a speedboat of some kind somewhere uh, using those uh, documents we have uh sung uh no not sung ah yeah sung sung deadma as well as you so fidel uh you will be in charge of going to mindanao and dealing uh with the branch there uh, known as the diplomacy squad and as for me aya and you too amy uh we'll be fighting off against or no not uh, frick it, it's supposed to be deadma 
uh, that's with Mirai and Amy with Sung and Sophie Dell taking care of the diplomacy. And as for me, so Aya, that's the song you're my boyfriend, right? Yes. Uh, and you, Dedma, you'll be going with us. Uh, your inability would certainly be most useful uh, in who we're fighting. Uh, we're going to Visaya and taking care of the branches of that branch over there. The execution squad uh, slash assassination squad. Uh, is everyone uh, okay with this plan? And Tokyo said as a leader, I see Mirai that you planned this already for the longest time and I trust in you. I know that you know more of the Contabida gang than I do. So I believe this is the best that we can. Very well then. Good luck to all of you. Let's uh, let's hope all of us are able to come back in one piece. Tokyo, you can do the honors. Uh, Tokyo's like, oh, right. Uh, angel seekers, uh, move out, or whatever. <laughs> the important thing is, la familia. <laughs> we are family. We'll yeah. come back and win this Fast and Furious style. Yeah. <laughs> With that, uh, the nine of them all head off, uh, splitting up into separate teams. <laughs> Uh, the Tokyo Billy and Panacea heads uh, the remains in Manila in order to deal with uh, the. With the transportation squad, Sung and Amy head off uh, via airplane. Uh, into Mindanao to deal with the diplomacy uh, squad and Mirai, the Aya and Denma yeah, are also taking flight through boats uh, yes, in order to uh, deal with the executioners uh, squad so uh, yeah we're splitting off once again I actually only have uh, Sung, Amy, and Sophie Dell's uh, split dealt with, but uh, I'm giving you a choice as usual. Uh, just like, just like last time when we were split into four. Who do you want to focus on first? Uh, the Mindanao team, the Luzon team, or the Misaya team? Yeah, save the save the main character for last. Sung, Amy, and Sophie Del first. Yeah. Thank you, because that's, that's the only one I have prepared right now. If you pick Mirai or Tokyo's team, I would mm -hmm. have to focus <laughs> on preparing those for next week, and that won't be fun for me. Yep. Alright, so uh, the three teams head off. Meanwhile, though, in the White House or whatever, uh, the president, the president uh, lies on his desk, uh, surrounded in darkness. Mm -hmm. uh, he's Did on his own, show? and he's just looking at the board. Uh, a knock, and then uh, a person opens. Uh, a beautiful woman enters. Sir, uh, Sir Dracula. I regret to inform you of bad news. It appears the Angel Seekers go uncaptured. Uh, two of our teams uh, had a run-in with them. Uh, Scout, uh, the dog, as well as uh, that man with, uh, who, with the inability known as La Cucaracha, were able to find their base, uh, while Scout was able to find them trying to steal in Mall of Asia. However, both of them informed uh, that they uh, had failed uh, not to mention it appears uh, two police officers have been uh, having some de doing some backdoor deals behind your back it, it was discovered uh, two men uh, were trying to make a deal for some uh, for 
exchanging documents for flights illegally with the Contrabida gang. Uh, we've sent in a team uh, to go to the, their new base uh, that La Cucaracha told us about, but it appears they've already left in search of a new uh, headquarters, a uh, new hidden base potentially. Sir, why the laughter? Uh, Dracula turns around. <laughs> Good. I expected as much from them. Everything is a go is going according to plan. Uh, oh he looks through. He uh, he uh, look at what I've been looking at all this time, uh, Madame Wassel, uh, Signora, or. Uh, Magandang babae. How, how, how do you say, what's a fancy way of calling a lady in Tagalog? Mm. Beautiful lady or binibini? Binibini. Bini. Yeah. Uh, this is one of my inabilities, powers, along with the ability to travel through space and time. I can also view things across space and time. Behold, I have nine satellites at my disposal with which I can view anything from across the world. I had four satellites, in fact. Uh, now look what they've been looking at, All what these four satellites have been looking at all this time. Uh, uh, the screens reveal uh, what the four teams have been doing all this time. He was completely aware of everything that was going on. Yep. Yes. And now uh, they've split into three teams and they're taking care of Contrabida. Look at them, so eager to prove themselves to the world that they're still the good guys. That they're basically doing all my work for me. So, laugh with me, lady. I am winning! <laughs> and the lady, scared as fuck, uh, just decides to follow along and laugh as well. Uh, meanwhile, though, uh, in the Contrabida gang as well, so, uh, uh, in the Mindanao place, yo, yo, I just got some wicked intel uh, back in Manila. Apparently, the Angel Seekers are trying to come for us now or something. Ain't that wacky? Uh, they were able to uh, get themselves some nice supplies and some plants and now they're planning on taking care of us from uh, the inside by taking care of uh, us as well as our two other major uh, bases. <laughs> well, I'm they so can try and coming at us yeah. as best as they like. So Luma, Chris... Them. Looks like the Candle Queen has another opposition to try beating. Uh, meanwhile, though, in Visaya, uh, three women uh, loiter. Uh, some police are trying to uh, tell them to stop loitering, but they're just ignoring. Uh, meanwhile, a, per a person in hoods uh, suddenly touch one of the women. Uh, and then that was their cue. Hmm, girls. It appears we've got ourselves a new target. Mirai, Dedma, as well as Aya. Ah, the members of the Angel Seekers. I see. So they're trying to beat us now. Well, look, it's too bad for them because execution is our specialty. And finally, uh, in Manila, in the South China Sea or Pacific Ocean or whatever the hell it is, uh, there's a boat. A ship, and it's got some shipments on it, and uh, uh, there's uh, some people there on the deck. Uh, uh, the, all the sailors have been like uh, executed or whatever, mm -hmm. and there's only like three people there now, and they're taking care, uh, and they've stolen the ship. All right, we're renavigating this ship now to China and continue on with our mission. Oh. Uh, a little birdie told me as well. 
It appears we're expecting some company during our uh, sale to uh, tonight, girls. We're going to uh, have a visitor. I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We'll mm -hmm. take care of them. With that, uh, uh, the stage is set, and wow, look how bright I am now. To be continued. Okay. Uh -huh. So, yep. is really prepared for this? Is everyone prepared for this? By the way, good job. How do you like this session this time? Uh, a little tricky, but it's good that I'm using my hand. Yes. Every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, congratulations, you didn't use a single of your thinking point. So, yeah. as promised, a reward. A single Yay. legend point. Uh, which you can use anytime, next session and stuff. Careful not to lose it by using too much thinking points. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, the next, the next few enemies are gonna be way harder uh, than that than Leone Abakio was. Yep. So yeah, be prepared. Lots of fun. I tell ya. I promise. <laughs> Don't you worry, we'll work it out. Ain't it just now? 